Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're given two functions. The first function is a function of x and y and is defined by y squared minus x squared. The second function is defined as e to the x times the sine of y. In each case, there are two independent variables. And we're supposed to show that those two functions are indeed solutions to this partial differential equation. Now notice, the easy way to write it would be u sub xx plus u sub yy equals zero. Or if you don't like that format, you can simply write the second partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to y equals zero. So how do we do that? Well, we take each of the two functions, we'll do it separately, and we'll take the first derivative, the partial derivative with respect to x, then we take the second derivative with respect to x, we do the same with the partial derivative with respect to y, we do it twice, and then we see indeed that if we add those two together, it does indeed add up to zero. So let's try our first example. So we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x first. We take the first derivative of that, and so we use look at our function. Since we're taking the partial derivative with respect to x, y becomes a constant, so when we take derivative, that drops off, and we end up at minus 2x. Then if we take the second derivative of u with respect to x, now we take the derivative of this, and so that becomes minus 2. We do the same with the, taking the partial derivative with respect to y, so now x becomes a constant, and so we end up with 2y. And then if we take the second partial derivative of u with respect to y, then we, take, then we get simply 2. Now, we're going to plug that into our equation. So when we plug it in, we get the, partial, the second partial derivative of u with respect to x, which is right here, that is a minus 2, plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to y, that's over here, plus 2, and sure enough, that checks out, it is indeed equal to 0, which means that this function right here is a solution to this differential equation. So now let's try the second function. So put that over here, and we say the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to, so now we take this function right here, so let's write it up here so we remember it, u depends on x and y, and we write as e to the x times the sine of y. So the first derivative with respect to x. Now that means this is a constant, and the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. So we have e to the x times the sine of y. Then if we take the second derivative of the function with respect to x, again, y is a constant, that means sine of y is a constant, and derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we get e to the x times the sine of y. So now we take the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. Now it's going to be a little bit different because now e to the x is a constant and derivative of the sine of y is a cosine of y. So that would be e to the x times the cosine of y. And then if we take the second derivative of the function with respect to y, now we take the derivative of this and the derivative of the cosine of y is the negative sign, e to the x will be a constant because x is a constant, so that gives us minus e to the x times the sine of y. Now when we plug in the two results, this here and this here, into our differential equation, in this case, a partial differential equation, so we get, u, we get the second derivative of u with respect to x, so that would be right here, that becomes e to the x times the sine of y, so we're taking this now, and we plug it, we plug the results in here, and then plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to y, that would be here, that would be plus a minus e to the x sine of y, and that should equal zero, and then of course you can clearly see that these are identical except for the minus sign, so again, it seems to check out, which means that both of the functions are indeed solutions to that partial differential equation. And that's how it's done.